I don't see them so guilty like that you like that you explain them. I know what's written in the Torah Kedusha. Right. The Torah Kedusha is saying that it's not allowed, right. and that you need to kill the person that done that. But you know that it's written also on a person that breaks Shabbos, that violates Shabbos, that you need to kill him, execute him. You ask your question. Right. That's what it's written. So. Are we really going to take a gun and start going and, and slaughtering people, shooting people? And, no. Why not? Why not? ISIS are doing it. Right. We don't think that that's the will of Hashem. Right? right. Inside, even though that it is written in the Torah, that if a person just violated Shabbos, he, he, he destroyed Shabbos, he, he lit the fire, he turned on his car and drove to the sea in Shabbos, the Torah is saying you need to kill him. Right. So, we, we, don't, we don't believe that that is the real will of Hashem in Barach, even though that it's written in the Torah. We're going to put all of our effort to read between the lines and to understand what is the real intention, the real meaning of Hashem in Barach, right? So now I'm going to tell you that when Hashem in Barach will reveal His mercy to the world, so He's going to heal the creation. And then the creation will not going to behave as it behaved today. There are a lot of things that are bent today, but you cannot straight them up. If you're going to try to straight them up, you're going to break them. Hashem Itbarach needs to reveal to us the Torah that is Atika Setima, that is ancient and is hidden from us. This is the white fire that is written under the black fire. This is Atika Setima, ancient, and it's impossible for us to understand. And when Hashem is going to explain to us the, 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 the white space between the lines, then we're going to understand how to heal all of the souls and all of the spirits and all of the people and to guide them, to bring them into the right way. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu said that He will not going to bring the flood again, means that He will not going to destroy those people. He will not going to punish them as He punished them before. Because the Kadosh Baruch Hu, he was sad. He was sad. He looked at the creation and he was sad. And after the destruction, after that, he destroyed the world with, with the flood. So Noah, that he was the righteous man, the leader of that generation, he cried. So the Kadosh Baruch Hu told him, Raya, Shatya, you're a foolish leader. You're a fool. Now you're crying? After the flood, you're crying? You were supposed to cry before of the flood. I gave you so many years to cry, to pray on the people that I'm not going to kill them. But you chose to save yourself, to build for yourself the, the, the ark, the teva, and to hide in, the, in, in, in your teva, and to hide over there to save your family. You're a fool. You had so many years. And you didn't cry. Now you're crying on the destruction. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he's got that wisdom. He doesn't want to destroy the world. Because that Noah didn't have that wisdom, so the world been destroyed in the flood. But it wasn't the will of Hashem Barach. And Hashem Barach revealed His will and promised and made an oath. This is the rainbow, that we will not going to have a flood anymore. And why do you think that they chose that rainbow for their flag? Why? Rainbow. And they're getting stronger. But what is the rainbow? To save us from what they're getting stronger in. So what it means? That there is a balance. You can understand it. We cannot understand it. But we can understand if we have a heart. We will understand that it's not their fault. That we cannot blame them. You can say, I despite it. I don't want it. I don't want to need it close to my house. I don't want my children to see things. Okay, no problem. But to take that person now and to judge him on his actions, I tell you, you're 100% wrong. You don't understand. A person that I know, he came to his father when he was 14 and he told him, Father, I am gay. His father told him, we know it from you, when you were three, when you were four. It's, um, so, okay, yeah, I'm happy you, you. It, it's obvious. He told him, Father, how did you know? He said, I was buying you trucks and you wouldn't play with them. And you would sit and you look at the magazines of your mother and you would play with Barbie dolls from the age of three. Age of three, that was, he was, a, he was a kid. It wasn't adultery, it wasn't nothing. He was just, he liked dresses, he liked women, he liked dolls, he liked to play with dolls. That's what he liked. You talk to that person, 
and and you cannot explain to him his mistake. You know why you cannot explain to him his mistake? Because you don't understand his mistake. If you would get his mistake, you would explain to him his mistake. If you know that that person is doing something wrong, you can reach out to him, you can explain it to him. If you have that experience, Right. You need to have people from inside that are going to do tshuva, what it means. That Hashem Itbarach needs to bring down the mercy, the rachamim, into those dark places, into those rainbow places, and to wake people up from those places. And when they're going to do tshuva, they will have the power to go and to talk over there and to explain how they came out from it and how they saw the light and how that Hashem Itbarach can heal you even from such, kind, such a, 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 a messed up situations and, 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 and lust that looks like love and, 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 and bent things that look so straight and okay. We're saying, oh, we're crying on those people that feel that bitterness is sweet for them and sweetness is bitter for them. Okay, we're crying. Oh, we're saying, oh.